Welcome back to another Auburn Sports Preview. I'm Andy Hewling, joined by Delaney Barra. We're going to get into this week's topics in Auburn athletics. Delaney, we're going to start with South Carolina and Auburn on Wednesday night as Auburn was able to get the big win over the Gamecocks to push their record to 16-2. and And it wasn't without uh, the help of Devin Cambridge, a freshman coming off the bench and scoring 26 points. Uh, what do you take from his performance? I think his performance was stellar, and it really just – speaks a lot about his potential for the team and the way that he was able to really give them that fuel to get that victory. Yeah, and Coach Pearl challenged him before the game saying, you've got to step up, you've got to be the guy um, to help this team. And I, really, he told the whole team that because I, I think a lot of people saw that on the hype video that the athletic department released is that he said, we've got to step up. And just after that emotional ride where Auburn was going undefeated and then they took that tumble last week, I think it was kind of a time for Auburn to step up and say, it's time, they've got to you know, play the basketball that we know that they can play. So Auburn moving on um, to play Iowa State, but wh what do you think a win like this just gives, the, how does it give them more confidence? Well, I think it raises the question, is Auburn back after those two devastating losses, both double-digit losses away from home. I think that the jungle definitely helped. The Auburn student section definitely gave them some momentum, raised their hype, and I think that the competition this weekend will be tough, but I think that they definitely, their shooting percentages improved this past game, and they still have a way to go, but they're definitely making their way to that point. For sure. And last night was women's basketball versus Ole Miss, and the Tigers were able to beat Ole Miss in a v defensive game, but they got the job done to get their first SEC win. You were there last night. Uh, what did you take from that? They had 12 fast break points, which was their season high, so definitely defense was key in this game. They had three players with double-digit points, and one of the stars, Unique Thompson, had her 16th double-double in 17 games this season. So they definitely have some star players. I know they have two road games coming up, starting with Kentucky. So that'll prove to be a challenge for them. But if they play like they did last night, I think that they can rise to the occasion. Now, at least we mentioned there was about an eight-minute span where neither team scored. What do you have to say for that? There was, I think, season-high rebounds in that game. And it was definitely a close game. They were only up, the Tigers were only up one at halftime. And they ended up pulling away for a double-digit win, but it was definitely a close game with some shooting percentages that weren't always there. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but now we're going to hop into Auburn Gymnastics tonight as they face the 20th-ranked Missouri Tigers in another SEC challenge. It's not easy in the SEC because gymnastics is very, very strong uh, all around the board uh, throughout the conference. Auburn came off a really good performance at LSU because even though they lost, they still scored very high, and they put on a really, really good performance in front of the Baton Rouge crowd. Uh, what do you think they need to do tonight to uh, get the win? I, th I know that head coach Jeff Grabo was really expecting a lot of team effort, and he's really expecting those freshmen and newcomers to step up and really fulfill their position and their expectations of them. But last time they played, they performed at home in Auburn Arena. It was a sellout crowd. So if the crowd shows up again tonight, I think that that will be huge for them. Oh, yeah, for sure. And obviously we know Darian Gilborn and um, Drew Watson are the two people to watch for on Auburn's team. And you talked about like the freshmen stepping up. How does it make a team feel that when you have five girls go, or excuse me, four girls go on rotation, you have two that can just follow up with incredible performances over and over again? How does it? How do you think it makes the team feel? I think it makes them feel very confident in what they can achieve. There shouldn't be many roster changes tonight. I know that Drew Watson and freshman Cassie Stevens will both be competing in the all-around again. And so to have Cassie Stevens competing in that once again just really shows how high expectations are for her as a freshman. For sure, and that should be a really, really good contest tonight at 7 p.m. on SEC Network+. Plus. Uh, now, the next matchup for Auburn basketball, like we mentioned earlier, is Iowa State. The part of the Big 12 SEC Challenge, Coaches for Cancer Week as well. Uh, so there's a lot going on as far as uh, non-conference play between the SEC and Big 12. So 
before we talk about Auburn and Iowa State, let's talk about the overall picture of this. There's a lot of big matchups. Uh, Florida Baylor, Tennessee plays Kansas, Kentucky gets to play Texas Tech. It's going to be a really, really fun weekend if you're a basketball fan. What do you think a, a win over the Big 12 in this challenge would mean for the SEC as a whole? I think it would mean a lot of good things, especially because typically when people think of SEC, and obviously they think of big sports, but it's mostly football. And I think that the SEC is definitely starting to claim its place in those top rankings against those Big 12 teams, and that's going to be key for propelling the programs forward. Yeah, for sure. And obviously, you have names like Kansas. Baylor now has really come up along as a basketball program. Uh, even Texas Tech has been to the Final Four last year. I think, really, if, if the SEC can get those wins and tour the bottom tier, and you pull off a few wins in that top echelon of games, I think it's going to bring a lot of confidence for the SEC, like you said, as a whole. But what do you think uh, Auburn, specifically against this Iowa State team, who comes in not, not having a great season, but they've pulled off some good wins and they have a lot of really good players, what do you think Auburn needs to do to just get the job done against this non-conference opponent? Well, I mean, like you said, their record is 9-9, nine and nine, but records can be deceiving. And I think that they just need to build on how they played on Wednesday and their free throw percentages got better against South Carolina, and that's definitely a huge part of the game, and that was major in their two losses. So I think that if they can build from there and just start with the basics and don't play too fast, but focus on moving the ball and being selfless with the assists, and I think that'll really be key in the game tomorrow. So one thing I noticed uh, in Wednesday's game was that Auburn was able to play really well on the break and forcing turnovers and then converting them for points on the other end. Do you think Auburn plays better when they're on the fast break than trying to set up a play? I think that playing fast, not too fast, but on those fast breaks and capitalizing on that, they know when they have the opportunity to score off that versus when their the other team's defense is getting back and they know they need to settle. And I think that finding being able to understand when is right to go straight to the ba basket to get those fast break points versus when to slow it down and play smart, that is very important for yeah, the team. For sure. And I, I think one thing I've also seen is that there's a lot of guys who have a lot of ability on this team, but they seem still rather hesitant to drive and force their, their will on opponents and even get to the foul line. Like I look at Samir Doughty and Isaac Okora. They're great players, great athletes, but they, I feel like they could take it in their hands more often and try to get those shots because they are talented players. Uh, but I think I would like to see more just aggression at the, at the basket to try to get to the foul line or get those hard buckets that they need because you've got big guys down there, and I think they can play a pivotal role in the team's success. So going into the, the, in this weekend, do you think Auburn winning this, this game uh, and then they've got the road match against Ole Miss before Kentucky. Do you think that it's all going to build momentum up to that big game on next Saturday? Yes, I definitely think so. And I think that they need to start rebuilding their confidence at, with that win against South Carolina. That definitely helped. But like you were saying earlier with players like Samir Dowdy and Javon McCormick, the two combined for 24 points on Wednesday. And I think that them especially need to build their leadership and confidence in order to really get ready for that big game. Yeah, for sure. And it's going to be a really, really big stretch coming up for Auburn. Is Obviously, they've played tough teams like Alabama and Florida, but they've got Kentucky coming up. LSU will be soon, and even teams like Tennessee, and they'll play Kentucky again on the road. So it's going to be really exciting for Auburn basketball, and we're ready for this weekend of sports. We hope you are too. And that's going to do it for me. I'm Andy Hewling, joined by Delaney Barrow, and we'll see you next week.